Today we're gonna go over the update from the major malfunction I had with the shaky sig. The trigger's pulled like it should be. The, the gun should be going off. I'm gonna shake it. I got the shaky sig back from sig and it is now fixed, but I wanted to go over uh, the update of what was done to it. I actually have the order form of what they sent back so you guys can see everything I actually received and what I saw and what was actually fixed just to be completely transparent with you guys to see what's going on. So to respond real quickly to a couple things from the last video, a lot of people were saying, uh, the main thing was saying that I was just putting the trigger on the wall and I wasn't actually squeezing it all the way. Um, I mean, it's a video, I guess I can't really prove to you that it wasn't, but you can tell from the video if you slow it down that I was pointing all the way because the wall is here and then where the trigger should go off is here and that's where I was holding it so if you watch it in slow motion you can tell I actually was pulling the trigger and the fact that sig replaced a ton of parts so that alone should disprove that I was holding it correctly because sig would have just sent this gun back and said hey goofball you're not uh, pulling the trigger properly the next thing was everybody kept saying that the gun was seracoded so I probably did it myself and I messed with all the internals because of that this gun is not seracoded it's just worn uh, because it's used the owner of this gun, this is his concealed carry gun or was his concealed carry gun. So he did a lot of dry fire practice, a lot of reps um, as we should. So the gun is just worn because it was actually used. So if you if you have guns that you actually use, you would know that your gun wears after a lot of use. Um, so the, the comments there were probably from people that don't use their guns. The next thing everyone said was I stippled the frame. Like, this is not a stipple job. Uh, it is grip tape. It is a piece of tape laid over the frame. It's a completely stock gun. Nothing was touched. The FCU was never taken out. Nothing in the triggers were touched, messed with. And again, um, I'll show you the order form right now. SIG clearly fixed everything so they realized there was a problem because when they got it, the, the gun also would not go off unless they shook it. So uh, they realized there was a problem. They fixed it. They replaced basically all the internal parts. So me personally, I don't know if I would ever conceal carry this gun again. Not saying the SIG P365 XL as a whole, I wouldn't carry, like I would carry one of these because I like this gun, I think they did a good job with it, um, but I would not carry this one, um, not, the, not the shaky one. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care that they fixed everything, I'm probably not gonna carry this one again. I'm out here at the range and I have the shaky SIG back from SIG. They changed out the firing control system. So now everything is supposed to be fixed. So we're gonna be out here at the range testing it real quick to make sure everything works. So the first thing we wanna do is make sure that it actually works when uh, you pull the trigger, which it does. It's still a little stiff. So no uh, shaking involved to have to make this thing actually go off. So uh, let's go ahead and actually put some ammo in this and shoot the gun and make sure everything functions as it should. Okay. So we're gonna break it in, make sure the trigger actually functions as it should, uh, but so far it is a lot better and I don't have to actually shake the gun to make the thing go off. The only thing I noticed is everything is super tight. Um, so it just needs broken in. I shot about a hundred rounds through it, so it does function properly as of now. I will continue to test this and, and the owner of this gun will continue to shoot this as he has and, uh, and we'll update you if anything changes, but everything's really tight, but I'd rather it be tight than every time you shake it, it shoots. <laughs> It, it is what it is. So SIG did replace it. SIG did fix it. Uh, they did, did it pretty quick after the uh, second time they were contacted. Um, so they didn't waste a ton of time. Um, they also offered to send a magazine for the, because they had to go through the FFL to send it back. So that did cost money because you had to pay for the FFL fees. So they did offer some other stuff as well to cover those fees. So that was pretty cool of them. Um, but it's back, it fixed, it doesn't go off when you shake it anymore, it just goes off when you pull the trigger, which is a pretty sweet feature that I probably should have started with, but again, like I said, it's pretty pretty tight, but at least it goes off when it's supposed to. So it'll get worn in, we'll check it out, we will update you later if anything changes. Um, I, again, I might pin it here on the comments if there's any problems, or I might just make a completely different video if it's something um, big enough worth of a new video. So hopefully this answers any questions. If you guys have any other questions about it, put it in the comments and I'll answer that as soon as possible. You can also ask me on Instagram uh, or Facebook, I'm pretty active there as well. But um, hopefully that answers all of your questions and I'm glad to see that it isn't a, a shaky gun anymore and we're not gonna 
rock this thing off randomly in your pocket. So that's a good thing. So if you're interested in helping out the channel, the things I do here is a couple ways to do that down in the description are some discount codes from companies that I trust. And there is a link to my website. A couple companies that support me and the things I do here is Howitzer and Brownells. Howitzer is a clothing brand. Donates 5% of proceeds to charity and they make flannels, t-shirts, pants, shoes. They make pretty much everything. I wear their stuff all the time and I absolutely love them. Next is Brownells. Uh, really appreciate everything they do and the support they, the support they show me, not the, not the support. Um, but I could not do a lot of the builds if it wasn't for them. So I really appreciate them. You can use code TA10 and save 10% on your orders of $150 or more and they pretty much have everything. So uh, you can pretty much find most stuff for your builds. And with that savings, you can then just buy a little extra for your builds or just save more and uh, you're good to go. But other than that, guys, thank you so much. And I hope this answered all of your guys' questions. I appreciate you all.